Today, we're going to be checking out the ritual and the altar from Lishlem Petals. Now, I really hope I pronounced that correctly. It is a German company. It literally translates to light noise, which I think is pretty apt. So both these pedals are a bit of a fuzz distortion. And you know me, I do love the Doom. So they sent me these and a couple of other things to check out, but I really wanted to uh, uh, demo and compare these two fuzz kind of distortion pedals, especially because they have some similarities and they are different in other ways. So the first similarity right away is they both have a foot switchable boost. Uh, if you have um, the, the pedal bypassed, you don't have any fuzz distortion coming out of it. You can still use this boost going into other pedals or your amplifier, which I think is pretty cool. And both of them have uh, independent LEDs, something I've noticed that is uh, on a lot of the pedals. So like uh, for both of these, when the pedal is on uh, and the effect is on, you get it in white, but the boost glows in blue. That way you can tell the difference and when they glow together you can see that's kind of this whitish blue so you know when they're on and when they're not. Now the boost on both of these is the same. It can go anywhere from like a full range open boost to a mid boost uh, to more of a treble boost which I think is cool to give people a lot of different options for their different fuzz sounds and distortion sounds. Both of these also have the same controls of gain controls, level, and uh, they both have uh, active two band EQs for the bass and the treble. Now where they start to differ is the ritual is very much based on the rat. It's very much a modern rat. Uh, so you have uh, uh, that rat sound, that kind of more mid forward kind of distortion. And the more you, you crank that gain, the more it gets into kind of Sun-O territory, you know, where it really drones and gets big, especially when you engage that, that boost. Now, one thing that this has that the altar does not is that this has a cut control. And what this does is it kind of cuts how much low end saturation you have. So you can get super fat, low end saturated, super fuzzy tones, and you can start to dial that back, get more kind of control over the signal more pick attack uh, and definitely get uh, a tighter sound which I know isn't something that most people you know would think of with a rat but it is cool you can really dial this in for kind of any amp or usage because of that cut control and then this also has a, uh, a compression thing on it that's a little bit different than you'd find on the altar and what the compression does is it messes with the soft clipping of the first gain structure and you'll hear it it does get a bit more compressed versus a bit more open which can be definitely cool especially if you're trying to do more droning things with it and just like with the altar you do have uh, three different clipping options. And uh, speaking of the altar, the altar, like I said, it does have those three clipping options. You get LED, germanium, and silicone. Uh, and it does have a lot of the same features that you heard uh, uh, me talk about on the ritual. But this is much more of a kind of big muff style uh, fuzz distortion. It's much more wide sounding, less mid focused, more scooped for sure. Uh, and I really, really dig that with this. And uh, a couple of its different features are instead of that cut control you have a depth control and that kind of controls uh the input saturation and how much compression and overall fuzz there is so you can really dial in how much fuzz versus distortion you want with that and it also has a clean blend on it which i think is rad for a couple of reasons i like uh say for a bass tone i would really like having clean blends on all fuzz pedals uh, so you can still get that nice big low end but then you can get that distorted top end uh, so clean blends are really good for that i also think they're pretty good for hitting the front of an already dirty amp or other uh, dirt pedals just to kind of blend in and get interesting sounds so that is absolutely enough going over all of these features we're going to hear this inside of a mix we're going to be using uh, my war pig guitar with uh, my Illuminati aluminum neck, and that has a Seymour Duncan P-Rail pickup in the bridge, and I'm gonna be using that in humbucker mode. That's gonna be going into uh, the clean channel of my Friedman BE50 Deluxe, which is going into uh, my Two Notes Captor X with an IR blend of uh, my DB77 and VM1265. We're gonna hear that outside of a mix on the same amp, and then we're also gonna hear some bass tones. I'm gonna have this going direct into my interface, and I'm gonna have uh, my Ampeg 
uh, digital Ampeg amp on there, and I'll have those settings up there for what that's gonna be as well, so we can hear how this sounds with bass. Let's check it out.
So I really like these pedals, and for my first time trying these pedals from this company, I'm rather impressed. They both are different in in great ways. Uh, the the ritual, the the rat style pedal is much more mid forward, but can also get really doomy or tight. And go from the sun sound all the way to almost kind of like a modern kind of tight rat sound, which is interesting. And it sounds great on bass. Uh, it's a little bit more subtle. And then I think my favorite here was the altar. It's just massive sounding. It is really, really uh, that kind of perfect blend between fuzz and distortion that I like. Because uh, I like it when they're married in between. It kind of is that like high on fire sound almost. And uh, I think this just nails it. It also sounds super awesome on bass. Just absolutely fat sounding. You can do any kind of fuzz or distortion sound for that kind of big muff style thing. Uh, I, I just think that there's a lot of good ideas with these, and, and I ended up being, you know, way more impressed uh, than I thought. I wasn't really expecting anything. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't tried these guys before, but this this is these are great, and I think you should check them out. So I'm gonna have a link down to these guys down below, so you can check out this or anything else that they offer. I will be featuring some of their other pedals in the near future. They sent me a, a modern overdrive as well as an EQ, so we'll have those coming up in the future. Uh, I'm curious to know which one was your favorite or or if you liked one on guitar or bass better. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay metal.